Hi, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics and also known as Loving My Angels. Today I want to get, give my viewers another um, Law of Attraction lesson and this time it's on how do I know my manifestations are on its way? Wow, that's a question that I'm sure many people have. One of my viewers sent that question over and I couldn't respond, so I said I'll make it a video because I know a lot of people out there is wondering the same thing. How do I know my manifestations is on its way? Boy, I asked that question too. That question could be easy and it could be hard. It can go both ways because the only way you're going to know that your dreams are coming true is if you get it and how you feel. Do you feel like you accomplished it? Do you feel like you reached your destination? That's the only way you're going to know that you're on the right track. So let's talk about it real quick. Um, I'll try to make this video very quick for you. If you wanted a car and you told the universe exactly what you wanted and, um, and you were deliberate manifesting, and then you got a phone call and somebody said, your Uncle Charlie said, I have a car for you. I have a 1969 Chevy, whatever. And your heart just dropped. Don't get discouraged. You, at least you know it's working because cars are coming at you. It may not be what you want, but it's coming at you. So the law of attraction never fails, okay? Now, if there's something going wrong, that wrong is probably within you, okay? Um, maybe you have a blockage in you. Maybe the universe is making its way towards what you want, and maybe you go there and find out the car that you wanted is right next to it. Anything can happen. When I first got my Range Rover, um, I, met, I, man, I delivered manifest my range. And I went to the dealer. There was my car sitting in the parking lot. And I said, something got to be wrong with this. It, something's missing, you know, and the price was right. Then when I went on the showroom, there it was, exactly what I wanted. So when you're manifesting, um, sometimes God will take you one route to lead you to another. Maybe God has it planned for you to have something different that's better. Maybe you have a blockage. Like, I can't afford that car. That car is not for me. It's for the rich people. Well, things never go right with me. Um, it never comes easy. These are all type of things that will cause you to block your manifestation and cause it to be delayed, okay? So the question is, how do I know my manifestations is on its way? Follow your emotions, okay? And listen to what's going on inside of you, okay? So if you feel good about whatever's showing up, that's letting you know you're on your way. If you're feeling bad about whatever's showing up, I'm trying to tell you to please change that emotion because you are actually block you you're actually blocking what you're trying to create. Okay, so let's just say you wanted a house, and you wanted a particular house, and every house you've seen was not that house. But you got to remember, you're seeing houses. Show gratitude and be happy that you're able to get out there and look at the houses. In some way, somehow, God will bring you that house that you wanted unexpectedly. Another thing, the universe may even bring you the house that you never even thought of that ended up being better than what you were asking for. So the universe never makes mistakes. If the mistakes are made, it's through you. You have to give the universe exactly what you want. And you have to have faith that the universe is going to give it to you. And then let it go. Let it go. As you let it go and release it and allow it and, and allow the universe to bring it to you, you are opening the doors for it to come to you in different ways. You have no idea what the universe can do and how it can do it. So 
you as a, as a human being or spirit having a human experience, you have no idea what the universe can do for you. So do not place limits on your manifestation because it might come to you in a different way. If you're feeling joy, if you're looking at five different houses or five different cars and you're feeling happy like I was when I manifest my townhouse, that means you're on the right path, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. Even if things don't work the way you want it to work out, that does not mean to say you're on the wrong path. That just means it may take longer for you to get to the destination. The universe could be taking you another route to get to the destination. The universe may have something better planned for you. You might have a blockage and you need to work on yourself to release or to, ch to change that blockage so that you can get on the right path to what you want. If you're looking for um, $50,000 $50, and then you're saying that is not coming to me, you just block yourself. I want a Range Rover, but you're saying you only can afford a, um, Toy a Toyota Corolla. You just block yourself. Um, so how you know you're on the right path is by your emotions. And the more negative emotions you put in it, the more negative experiences or delays you're adding on to your manifestation. You're pushing yourself further away from your destination. You have to remember that. Um, when I was looking for my house, I was, I told you before, that's fun just to have a good time. My mom and I would get in the car on the weekend. We would look on Zillow and we would go to all the open houses for the townhouses. We would go to all of them, even some of the houses. We didn't care. We would make up some old lie like we're getting ready to buy at this minute. And we would go walking through the townhouses and, and the houses and having a good old time looking and, and seeing little ideas of what we would want if, if, if we would, you know, to get something right now. And it just ended up that I ended here. I told people before, I was happy running around looking at houses. And when I came across this, I was like, I was there two years ago and I got a feather. And I didn't expect I was going to be living here. I had no idea I was going to be living here. Not no idea. And it wasn't until later that I looked at my vision board and I found the picture. And I was like, I'm I tell you the truth, I thought I was going to choke or something. Because I couldn't believe how the picture in my living room and my kitchen was exactly the same. Almost exactly the same from the picture that was on my vision board. I had a couple of pictures on my vision board, but it wasn't until I looked at that particular one, I said, oh my God, okay? So God has a way of getting you to your destination. The universe has a way. You are the one that will stand in your way. And regardless to the point, it's still a learning lesson. You will reach your destination. How you get there? Is it easy? Is it difficult? Do it, take, do it take a long time? Is it quick? Is it fast? That depends on you and that also depends on how the universe is trying to get to your destiny, get you to your destination. Okay? So follow your emotions, follow your feelings to see how you are along your path to get to that destination, no matter what it is. Um, look at yourself and realize if you have any blockages. If you do, you're pushing everything away a little further and you're making the, the trip longer than it has to be. Um, another thing is knowing what you want exactly will also help you speed up the process, okay? Knowing that you are deserving of everything you're asking for, having faith the universe is going to give it to you, and at the same time, allowing it to come to you. Not on your time, but on the universe's time. The universe knows how to get it to you and um, what way it's going to get to you, or even if it has something better. So I always tell people, please, when you're trying to manifest, say, or for something better. Always end it off saying, 
I want this, this, this. No, not I want because your subconscious is sending the message to the universe. So it's not I want because if you say I want, the universe is going to, your, your subconscious is going to be like, well, I know you want and you're going to keep wanting. You have to say it's my intent. It's my desire. It's what I will have. You're letting the, the, your subconscious know that you're in control. Now, you guys work all together, but your part of the job on the outside is to observe everything that's around and come up with what you want. And it's the subconscious mind to listen and to send that message out to the universe and help manifest it in your life. So it's not I want, it's not that I'm asking, it's I intend, I desire, I will have. And you're letting, them, you're letting your subconscious know, I want this. This is what I'm getting. This is what I'm going to get. This is what I'm deserving of and this is what I'm going to get. Okay? So once you make your desire very clear and you allow it to come to you, I tell people to get out there and take action. That's how you're going to know this, that you're on your way. You're going to be feeling good. You're going to be out there looking and, and trying to do whatever you want to do. Even if it's a job, you're going to be going on interviews. You're going to be happy. I mean, at the same time, follow your feelings. Okay? If you need to fine-tune it, that means you're on your way. You, you, you're realizing what I'm asking for is not exactly what I want. So you're fine-tuning it, and by doing that, you're telling the universe, this is exactly what I want. It's okay to change your mind while you're trying to manifest. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just the point is, is that you are letting the universe know what I want, okay? So never fear. If things start going wrong, take it as a lesson. Take it as you need some fine-tuning. You need to look back at yourself and see why things are not working right. And you need to keep moving forward. The thing is, control your emotions. Have fun. Have fun while you're manifesting and see where it takes you. This is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. If you like my video, please like it. Please subscribe. And you can also follow me on myworldofmetaphysics.com. Again, this is Yvette. Namaste.